Welcome back, Seth Bling here. And I've got another Mario Maker level to show you, another one that I've made. Let's go ahead and play. This one is called Mario Goes to Space. You can see at the start you get a space helmet and you climb on the spaceship. And, whoo, we're in space now. So, uh, the basic idea of this level is that, well, we're in space. I did a bunch of space-ish things. There's like an asteroid, that's what the thwomp is. Uh, there's all these spaceships and they're kind of like shooting at each other and stuff. Uh, they've got a lot of uh, thrusters. You can see there's there's thrusters kind of uh, pulling the ship along. This, this ship and the ship next to it are actually engaged in a battle. As we'll see in a moment, they're kind of shooting at each other. Um, so I need to get over there. Ooh. Luckily I have kept my helmet so far. It's a very useful tool. Uh, this is sort of like a asteroid mining operation where and I'll show you in a bit what that means, but kind of mining the star, uh, mining the asteroid for stars, and that's kind of my explanation for where stars come from. There's this now, now this bit where uh, there's uh, these are actually constellations. These are the signs of the vertigo. And we get to the end of the level, climb this giant pipe all the way back down to planet Earth, where we can finish it up. So let's go back into edit mode, as it will automatically happen. And we can go ahead and look around the map a bit. And I can show you a bit more detail about all those things I, I just said. Uh, so we've got all these uh, thrusters and everything on this spaceship. And I'll use my stylus to bring Mario into the pipe so we can transition into space. Um, in Mario Maker, you get one sub-level. So this is my sub-level. Most of the level actually takes place inside of a sub-level. You can see the, to uh, the, the, the part here where we spawn in once we go through the pipe. Is the is the same as the top part of the ship in the uh, in the uh, overworld. Uh, the textures look a bit different, and that's because in the different sub levels all the textures look different. Uh, and but yeah, so kind of the inspiration for making this was that in Mario 3, the underground levels have what looks like stars in the background, and there's this weird there's all these like weird metal textures. You can see these things. Um, and so I thought they looked kind of space agey, and so I tried my best at making a spaceship thing. So you come out of this pipe, there's like a little small ship here, a bigger ship here. These are just like firing their cannons randomly. Let's see these things. You can actually um, change the rotation of these, so that's what I did to, to do that. Uh, and then it's just like more stuff with cannons. I wanted I, I wanted thwomps to act like uh, sort of like space debris, you know, asteroids, whatever. Uh, and so you ha kind of have to like avoid the space debris. More ships. So these two, I specifically wanted them to be fighting each other. So you can see all these cannons here. They are uh, they're actually pointed to the right. And then uh, the bullet bills, of course, since you're coming from the left, these bullet launchers. Uh, are gonna be shooting to the left. So these two ships are kind of like shooting at each other. And in fact, let's go ahead and hit play. It's just kind of fun to watch um, all the bullets kind of just shoot at each other. Uh, of course, the ships aren't damaging each other because they're just made out of level elements. Um, but, and then let's go back in edit mode. So that's kind of what's going on there. Then uh, there's these grinders, these saws on this ship. And they're actually spinning. If you didn't notice the first time through, they're actually spinning. I love that I can go back and forth between play mode and edit mode just so easily. Um, that's because this is a mining ship. And there's like this mining operation going on over here. And if you don't take the time to notice, you, you wouldn't necessarily see, but there's these grinders up here and they're kind of like grinding the question mark boxes which are inside of this, uh, this asteroid that's being mined. And they grind it up and then stars come out of here. And so this is sort of my explanation of where stars come from in the world of Super Mario. And, uh, and so they're on this conveyor belt system. Uh, they actually are set up so that they hit this spring and kind of go onto the ship and like into the grinder of the ship. And they actually, it actually bounces back out and everything. But, uh, and you kind of need this star really in order to be able to make it up past these grinders. Um, and then over here, just some like weird space enemies. Let's go back in edit mode. These are giant uh, chain chomps and, uh, and a squid, space squid. You can make enemies big by just like putting a mushroom inside of them. He's already big though, so he just gave it up. And you, you can see this one also has like children. I'll just undo that. Uh, and then 
so that's kind of like the space mining operation aspect of the level. Which I think is just more for flavor than anything else. It's kind of cool though. The last area here, if you look closely and you know your signs of the vertigo... Signs of the vertigo. That's not right. Signs of the... Signs of the zodiac. That's what they're called. If you know your signs of the zodiac, uh, you can actually kind of see them. Um, I don't have them memorized. I think this one's like... Mm, I don't actually know. <laughs> uh, this one is the bull one. Anyway. Uh, so first I just basically drew out as many of the signs of the, the zodiac as I could and then I added things to them and so it's mostly just like these grinders uh, the saws whatever and then there's also some very tall um, these are homing if you so these things if you shake them once they'll become normal if you shake them again they'll become homing they actually default to homing but um, so these are, these are just like uh, homing bullets, and they also kind of block your way in the clown car, provide an obstacle. And so that's mostly what this is made of. There's these uh, these spike traps, kind of. Okay, let's actually go into play mode and I'll play real quick. If you hit a spike trap, what, so like mostly if you hit things in your clown car, it doesn't really, you just kind of bounce off. But if you hit a spike, uh, whoops, I'm going to die. Uh, let's try that again. Mostly you just bounce off. And so it's kind of harmless. Uh, and, but if you hit a spike trap, you can see I actually lose control of the clown car for the duration of, of while he's like looking like that. So it actually can be very dangerous because you can get like hit into other obstacles. And so to the, I actually use these a lot at the bottom of the level because uh, otherwise it's pretty easy to just go underneath the whole thing and these kind of prevent you from doing that. So that's kind of a little bit of a level design thing. And then you just use the pipe here, and if you go into it, it brings you back to the overworld. And we finish up the level. And that's that's all there is to it. So if you want to try the level out for yourself, and you have Mario Maker, of course the course ID is on screen, and you can just grab it. This overworld, by the way, is just mostly empty space. It's just the, the rocket ship over here, and the pipe at the end. But yeah. Um, Check it out, and of course, once you play any of my levels, uh, after you finish it, it, there's a list of all my other levels. So you, you can basically just, if you just go play this one level, you'll be able to see them all. So I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.